what is going on everybody i hope you guys are all having a great day today i am back with another madden 24 speed rebuild this time around i'm doing the miami dolphins and if you're new around here and don't know what a speed rebuild is basically it's a challenge where i get only 10 minutes to make as many trades as possible to try and build up this team and win a super bowl in one season so like i mentioned i am doing the miami dolphins today i got this team suggested to me on a previous video so i figured you know i should do them here today I got this video idea from Jerome PKR. His channel link will be in the description if you guys want to go check him out. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so just quickly looking at the team overall. Currently, we are ranked at an 87 overall with an 87 overall offense and defense. So this team is rated pretty high. It is definitely one of the higher rated teams in the league. I don't really know where it ranks, but, you know, there's still some positions that need to be worked on as we can see by the five team needs there on the left and we also have 27 million dollars in cap space to get it done so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get us started so i'm going to start the timer right now okay so we got 10 minutes on the clock where are our picks projected okay so our picks are projected pretty late so that's going to affect the value but it's time to make some trades so what position Okay, tight end. We need a new tight end. Offensive line, we should be good at everything except right tackle. We could use an improvement at right tackle. We could use a new defensive tackle. Linebacker, we should be good. Well, I guess we could use another middle linebacker. Wouldn't hurt. Maybe get like an 85 overall or above. So, yeah, first I'm going to go to the Bills because they have someone. Why is my controller being weird? Okay. So I'm going to try and get Deion Dawkins. We can move him to right tackle. And then could I get Ed Oliver as well? Is there anyone else? We could use another corner. or Sewell Douglas. So they need a left outside linebacker. So Justin Houston. They also have Dawson Knox. But do I want to trade for him? Uh, not right now. Okay, so how far does this get? Okay, figured it wouldn't be very far. But if I took out Mike White and then put in... Dude, my controller's being so slow. Okay. Anyways, so... They also need a right guard, right tackle. So if I threw an Austin Jackson... Dude, why is my controller, like, being so weird? Okay. Goodness gracious. Anyways. So I feel like if I threw in two seconds and a third, maybe... It's pretty close. What if I did just three seconds straight up? Will it go through? Oh, come on. Okay, what if I took out Jeff Wilson and then threw in a third rounder? Would this go through? There we go. All right, so we pick up some solid players there from the Bills. Dude, my controller is just being weird right now. My controller is going to sell me this. Okay, so we have just under eight minutes left. Very solid move to start things off. We still have all three first round picks, so that is definitely solid. So I'm going to move on from Robbie here. So we need a tight end. Um, we're, I'm going to look at tight ends now. So we're good on the offensive line. I guess we could look at left guards if need be, but not a priority at the moment. So okay, if I also throw in Melvin Ingram and then dude, oh, I, okay, I thought my controller disconnected again. <laughs> I was going to get so mad. All right. So tight ends, who is a solid tight end? The Broncos, or not the Broncos, the Cowboys have Jake Ferguson. He's only 79. Okay, what about David Njoku? He's 89 overall. Okay. So what if I also ask for Joel Batonio? He might be pretty hard to get. What's Wait, his cap it is pretty high. Uh, You know what? I'm going to move on. Look at a different team. <clears throat> Okay, what team has like an 85 overall? Gerald Everett, we could get him. And then um, we could get Corey Lindsley and then push him out to left guard. And then we could just be cooking. Eric Kendricks, what's our backup middle linebackers overall? I believe it was a 78. Okay, so I was going to say 79. So how far does this get me? Okay. Um... Okay, uh, if I threw in 2026 20, first round pick, how far does this get me? Okay, that's actually pretty close. So if I did a third rounder 
and two thirds, a first and two thirds would this go through? I feel like Jeff Wilson just doesn't have much trade value. So if I took him out and then throw in a fourth, yeah, um, you know what? Maybe I'll just take Gerald or not Gerald. I'll just do Gerald Everett and Eric Kendricks. How far does this get me? Okay, so if I threw in a third or fourth, third and two fourths, this should go through. Uh, I guess not. Man, not having those second round picks really hurts. Okay. Um, this probably won't go through. Um, I'm gonna have to give up a first round pick. You know what? I'm gonna move on. If I have to give up a first round pick, I want it to be for like David Njoku. You know, I'm gonna actually trade for David Njoku. So, David Njoku, and then Wyatt Teller. He might be way too hard to get. Joel Batonia. You know, what? I'm gonna go for him anyways, despite the very high cap hit. And then is there anyone else? Denzel Ward is going to be way too hard to get. Okay, so these two, and if I threw in next year's first rounder. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so I just need to move on. It's going to take way too much. Okay, uh, maybe I need to just get Gerald Everett and just go back to the Chargers. Dallas Goddard, he might be pretty hard to get. What if I Landon Dickerson as well? Um, Son Reddick. And then if I threw in, like, Andrew Van, Van Ginkle, how far does this get me? I just want to see. Oh, that's actually very close. Wow. Okay, a third rounder and a fourth. Would this go through? Okay. You know, I'll throw in future first. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. If I threw in this year's first... And then a third and a fourth, would this go through? Oh, that is close. What if I took out Robbie Anderson? Or Robbie Chosen, I guess that's his name now. And put in Devon A-Chain. Took out the third and fourth rounder, would this go through? Oh, come on. That is close. Okay, so put the third and fourth rounder back in. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take out Devon A-Chain. And then I'm just going to do two first rounders. And then could I also get like fourth round pick back just for future trades all right there we go those are some solid pickups there we have three minutes 30 seconds left so we got to get moving i still have two other first round picks that i need to trade and so i gotta look let's see we should trade devon a chain just because he's the backup we could use another wide receiver so um we could also trade Isaiah Wynn. Is there any trades like out of the gate with this that I would... Okay, no. Nothing that I would want. Okay, so we're good offensive line-wise. We could use someone on the line. We could also trade Jalen Phillips as well. He's going to have a lot of trade value. Okay, so we have a lot of people we could trade. Okay, so strong safety. Can I get like Jesse Bates? I know he's a free safety, but I can move him to strong safety. Um, AJ Terrell, and then if I just took out this guy and then threw in Jalen Phillips, how far does okay? You know what? That's not gonna happen. For Jesse, okay, it's not gonna work out. Okay, who's uh? Could I get Hufanga? I think that's how you say his name. No way, I get Fred Warner. I just want to see how far does it get me. Okay. So, okay, could I also, I want to get Brandon Ayuk. Actually, let's go for Debo. How far does this get me? If I threw in the other two first rounders, would this go through? Oh my gosh, my controller, dude. I have two minutes. This has got to stop, bro. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I only have one first rounder. That's right. Okay. Um. Okay, so just, what about just Hufanga? Oh my gosh, maybe getting a safety might be a little too hard. What about Buddha Baker? Is he going to be way too hard to get? And then Buddha Baker, and then could I get like Marquise Brown? I might, yeah, I don't even have the cap. What about Rondell Moore? Would this go through? If I threw in the first rounder, oh my gosh, I'm selling. First and third. For Buddha Baker, Rondell Moore? Come on, bro. 
We got to get a safety fast. Derwin James, he's going to be way too hard to get, though. You know what? Might as well try it. Derwin James. Dude, I got a minute. I got to stop messing around. Joshua Palmer. Oh, come on, bro. I only have a minute. This is this is going to go bad very soon if I don't get a solid safety. Um, Just keep moving. Keep moving, bro. What is taking so long? Okay, Kevin Byard, and then could I get, like... Oh, my gosh. Um... Just Kevin Byard and then Kevin Byard. That's it. Is Kevin Byard for this? Oh, you're actually kidding me, bro. Oh my gosh. This is not going good. I only have 30 seconds, bro. I got to get a safety fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to be this hard. Okay. Jabril Peppers. And then could I also get Kendrick Bourne for this package? Come on. This has got to go through. Okay. So 15 seconds left. We get that trade off. Jeez, I had a lot of backups I could have traded that were like decent overalls. Hold up. I got five seconds. Come on. Come on. Controller, hurry up. Control I got three seconds. Come on. Deshaun Elliott trade. Uh ran out of time. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna change around some players' positions and everything, and then I will show you guys what the roster is looking like before the season. All right, so with all the trades done, we are up to an 89 team overall with a 91 offense and an 88 defense. And I'm honestly surprised we're only a 91 offense and an 89 team overall in general. I'm pretty surprised, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. 91 is definitely a solid overall to be at. But just looking at this offense, man, this offense is insane. Like, all around the offense, we got playmakers, and this offense is going to be great. I can just tell just by looking at it. I could definitely see this offense going on to win the Super Bowl here in this season. I could definitely see that happening. I mean, it's just great all around. Like, we really don't have any weak spots on this offense. So, I definitely could see us winning the Super Bowl here. But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm really surprised it's only a 91 overall. But, you know what? I'm not going to complain. But, yeah, this is what the offense is looking like. Now we're going to check out the defense. And so now looking at the defense... I'm honestly I'm surprised this is an 88 overall because it was an 87 overall before and apparently we only improved by one overall point but you know what I'm not going to complain 88 is a solid overall to be at most definitely and I just realized I completely forgot to trade for another linebacker after trading away David Long but you know what? it is what it is um, it's not the worst thing in the world because just looking around this defense I mean just look at this defense, man. This defense is amazing. Like, this secondary is phenomenal. This defense line, phenomenal. These linebackers, phenomenal. Edge rushers, phenomenal. Everything on this defense is phenomenal. And somehow, it's only an 88 overall. You know what? It is what it is. It's Madden doing its thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sim the season. You guys can comment your record predictions in the comments before I get started. But, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sim the season now. All right, so we're past week nine now. This is where it starts to go by really fast. I'm predicting we go 12 and 5. That's my prediction. So we're going to see what our overall, or not overall, our record is here momentarily. If we go like 0 and 17, I'm just going to lose my mind. Okay, so we go 10 and 7 and win the AFC East. Wow, that is not what I expected at all. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We go 10 and 7, so that is definitely solid. We are in the wild card. We're going to be taking on the Colts here. So, actually, I just looked it up. The Dolphins went 11 and 6 in real life. And we go 10 and 7 here after making all those trades. You know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to complain. We're in the playoffs. That's what matters. So, it's looking at our team ranks. We are 7th in points per game with 24.5. We are 12th in pass yards per game. Wow, I'm pretty surprised at that. We're 18th. I almost said 16th. 18th in rush yards per game with that offensive line i'm pretty surprised about that as well but defensive wise fourth in points allowed per game 10th in pass yards per game i'm honestly surprised we're that high because of that very solid secondary but you know what not going to complain and then we are eighth against the run so yeah that is what our team ranks are looking like we are now going to take on the 11 and 6 indianapolis colts here at home here on the wild card round let's see if we move on to the division around and we do 45 to 42 that was a very high scoring game so here we are taking on the chiefs here in the division around this will be a very solid matchup let's look at the chiefs ranks oh my gosh well they're pretty bad against the pass so let's just throw the ball a lot here guys but yeah, so we're going to be taking on the 13-4 Kansas City Chiefs here in the division round. Let's see if we can advance 
into the conference championship here and we lose 31 to 28 man that is very unfortunate i really thought this would be the team to go on and win the super bowl i really did like i really thought this team would be the one to go on to win the super bowl like i know i say that about every team but like this one this one was like this one was different i mean like is everywhere we had playmakers all over the field man Ah, that is that is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. The Sims over. I can't really do anything about it. So, yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments which team you guys want to see me do next. I'll make sure to pick out a comment off of this video or a previous one for the next speed rebuild that I do. So, make sure to let me know in the comments which team you guys want to see me do next. And I do have a variety of other content on my page you know some madden and 2k and a ton of other content and playlists on my page so you guys can feel free to go check those out if you are interested but yeah that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching all the way into the end i really appreciate that and yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you all next time